Hey guys, look Falk here and welcome to another FIFA 20 Team of the Season player review and in this video guys we're reviewing the 92 rated EFL Team of the Season, Mitrovic from Fulham. What a card he does have, he looks absolutely incredible. And he only cost me 122,000 coins for a guy that's got 99 positioning, 99 shot power, uh, 99 strength, 99 heading, and he costs barely over 100,000 coins. This is what I just love about team of the season. And uh, in the three games that I did play with this Mitrovic card, he did score me six goals and get me two assists. And he also does have three star skill moves as well as four star. Week before getting interesting in stats, his main standout stats will be his 99 shot power, his 95 finishing as well as his 99 positioning and finally his 99 vision. I did also have the whole cam that applied to him and he has the traits of power header. And you may have seen that I am using the second account for today's video. Uh, and obviously I'm not really... Um I don't really have that many icons. All I had was uh, a lone Ronaldo in my club as an icon on the second account. I haven't been granting icon swaps in the second account this year. So I really had to use like, a lot of, uh, well, use that Ronaldo on loan, which I had for three games. And then also use him with some, uh, with some Serbian players because I didn't have anyone from the championship. Um, so it wasn't really like the best chemistry team. And actually the team to use for the most part wasn't great. But this guy, Mitrovic, is fan. Fantastic. Uh, I'll, I'll probably say it's my favourite team this season card that I've used so far. Uh, certainly as a striker. I mean, I did review the Watkins SPC card yesterday, which was kind of a fun card, but not, uh, not you know, not the best value for money, not the best cards in the game. It's 65 composure really lets him down as free star. Free star obviously isn't great. Uh, the SPC Maro Icardi is very good. I did like him, but Mitrovic is better. Than you know, than a card is good as a card is, and obviously a card is a lot more easy to link in with Mitrovic. But you know, you can easily get. I'm sure if you've been grinding the icon swaps, you can easily get Mitrovic to, to eight chemistry. You know, like get him with like maybe one or two icons, and you know, or even just one icon, or whatever. Get like a Serbian manager to, to at least get him onto like eight chemistry or whatever. And he's a really really fun card. I mean, some of his stats are just up there with the best in the game. And obviously, he's from the championship and stuff. But if you get him in your guaranteed EFL team of the season pack, which I'm sure they'll probably do at some point in like the form of an SPC, maybe even today. Who knows? Uh, if you get him in your foot champion rewards, I'd love to get him in my foot champion rewards. I want him, Gomez, uh, Liverpool centre back Gomez, or Grimaldo the most from the uh, from the upcoming uh, weekend league rewards. Where I, oh, I will be finishing silver one, and that which is uh, I'm happy just to finish in silver one. I'll definitely take that any day of the week. But um, his first one is going to have to be his finishing up there with the best. Up there with the very, very best. He's up there with the Primark card moments. He's up there with the Johan Cruyff 96 card that I've got, who I've played nearly 200 games with now. He, he, he rivals that card in terms of like finishing wise stats. He rivals the legs of the Hernan Crespos that I've been using for so long. I'll tell you guys right now, he is the real deal. He really is. 99 position, 95 finishing that whole chem style. Takes his finishing up to 99. The 99 shot power. He drives that ball past the goalkeeper big time when they just don't have a chance in the world to be able to save some of his shots. His volleys go to 99 as well. He's only got 84 long shots, but that's still fine. I think some of his goals might have come from out, uh, from like the edge of the box and stuff, but um, deadly in front of goal. Very, very clinical. Six goals in the three games. Uh, couldn't fault that whatsoever. And then also his physicality would be another pro to him. 99 strength, 99 aggression. I do believe he's 6'2 in height. Indeed, he is 6'2. Fantastic. He can really hold himself well you know, on the ball and stuff. He's and obviously the most quickest of players. He's not slow, but he's not like he's not gonna feel like a yeah, like that Watkins card yesterday is like an SPC. He's not gonna feel like him for pace. He's not gonna be able to outpace everyone. But even with the whole camp stat and his pace stats are increased, he's still not like the quickest player in the world. Maybe that's maybe because of like his lack of balance or something like that. Who knows? But what he can do is, you know, he, he can use his physicality to retain possession of the ball and stuff, bully players off. Really, really effective. Once again, you know, just superb stats there. Couldn't fault that. So, so that was obviously very good. Then also his passing, you know, two assists in the three games was a nice return. 99 vision and 99 short passing. Now, what I would say is I still think the striker position is the best position to use him with. But I think he's very, very good on working like a two-striker formation, whether it be like the 4-2-4 formation that I was using him in, maybe the 4-4-2, maybe the 4-1-2-1-2 or something like that. I think he suits being in a formation where there's like another striker alongside him. And, you know, to get that really, really good... Uh, vision and like short passing get you know get some good use out of them I just think he suits probably being played in a, in a two-man striker formation but uh, but that was also really good uh, his dribbling I won't put down as like a major pro to him because he does feel I say he feels clunky he, he doesn't um he's not 
smooth or anything like that. He doesn't, you know, he's not going to feel like a Gianfranco Zola, for example, or anything like that. He's not going to be able to, turn, you know, you, you can't turn. He doesn't turn with the ball very, very quickly. Like sometimes uh, his fake shots can be a little bit slow. Not, you know, he's not the quickest to be able to set like a fake shot sometimes, which is slightly annoying. But I mean, he's got 97 reactions, 96 composure, 96 uh, ball control. Maybe it might be best to actually put a counselor to increase his agility, his balance, and his dribbling because he's only got 83 dribbling as well on his in-game stats. But uh, even so, I wouldn't let the dribbling put you off the car, but I think if you are going to apply chem style to him, the best one is to get something for the dribbling and the pace, probably, uh, to get those two uh, a little bit higher. But, um, you know, don't get me wrong, because dribbling's not like a massive issue to him. I'm just saying, you know, it's not like fantastic, but, you know, at the same time, it, it, you know, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't make him like a an unusable card. You know, he's still fantastic on the whole, 100%. So, eight goal contributions in the three games, really, really, really good cards. Um, obviously, it's not the easiest to link in with, unless you've obviously got icons, in which case, you know, happy days, days are going to be that hard, I suppose, to link in with. But, uh, really good card. I enjoyed him, and I'd love to get him on my foot champ rewards uh, this coming Thursday. Whether I will or not, I don't know, but, I mean, 92 rated. I, I think the card is fantastic, and I think he, he's even worth buying off the market at uh, at his current price as well. I think you can't complain with his price. I think he's a top top player. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.